Hey everyone, my name is Deanna Rave and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did the big chop on my daughter's hair. Her hair got damaged when we straightened it a couple times last year. Her hair does not like to be straightened at all. Her hair has a lot of breakage and it's very dry. Her hair likes to be moisturized every day and we had her hair in braids for a while too so I think that contributed to the breakage and to a lot of the dead ends. So I'm just going to cut all of that off. It took me a minute to convince her to let me cut her hair because she was under the impression that if she takes care of her hair that the dead ends, you know, will just start to look better and be healthy again. But I had to let her know that it doesn't work like that. You have to cut off all the dead hair so that you can see where your healthy hair is and you can actually see your curls coming through. You can't have all this dead hair just weighing your hair down. So I'm just going to chop off all these straight pieces that I see I'm doing like a general cut right now and then I'll go back in later on to really cut all the dead pieces off but right now I'm just cutting off all these straight pieces that I see trying to get those trimmed down before I go in Obviously, I'm not a professional. I might be doing this completely wrong, but it gets the job done. I did the same exact technique to my hair. Well, let me not even say technique. I did the same haircut to my hair when I was transitioning and when I had a lot of damage in my hair, I literally just chopped everything off. Everything straight or scraggly that I saw, I just cut it off and I evened it out as I went along. Like I, I'm gonna even her hair out in smaller sections once I get a lot of the straight pieces off and then you know along the way when I see pieces that are uneven in like a week or so I'll trim it a little bit or I'll just trim it here and there and everything will even out eventually that's the beauty of curly hair your hair doesn't have to be completely even I mean it should be but if it's not completely even you know you can't really tell because your hair is curly so that's what I'm doing with her hair So some things that we're going to be doing to get her hair back healthy is avoiding heat. You don't have to completely cut heat out, but if I am going to use heat, I'm going to make sure that I am protecting her hair with a heat protectant. I'll make sure that I am deep conditioning before and after when straightening her hair and I will use a low setting. We don't need to completely straighten her hair so we won't have to worry about getting any type of heat damage from a flat iron or anything like that. But if it is necessary to use heat, I'll just make sure that her hair is thoroughly protected before I use it. Now that I got a lot of the scraggly pieces off, I'm going to go into smaller sections so I can really see if there's any more damage and I'm going to style it from here as well. So I'm just wetting her hair because that'll allow me to see where her curls are and if I need to cut anymore. Like you can see some pieces are straight, some pieces are still a little transparent. So I'm just going to trim those. I didn't want to go too short with her hair because she would have a heart attack. I just wanted to cut enough of it off so we got off a lot of the damage and she'll start seeing her curl pattern again. We found that her hair type is low porosity and figuring out your hair type is really going to be essential in getting your hair healthy again because you're going to know how your hair takes in protein, how it takes in moisture, how dense or fine is your hair. It's just going to help you when moisturizing your hair and keeping it healthy. So we figured out that her hair is low porosity and we figured out how much moisture her hair likes, what kind of moisture. So all of that is going to help get her curls back to being healthy again. I 
I just realized I didn't mention to you guys what's in my spray bottle but I showed you so I'm using an oldie but goodie I used to love using infusium when I straightened my hair when I had my hair curly I used to use infusium on every style that I had what I do is I'll put half infusium in a water bottle and half water because it's very it's a strong product so you can water it down and just keep watering it down as it gets lower but that's what I'm spraying into her hair. Infusium is a leave-in conditioner so that's just what I'm using to re-moisturize her hair and it contains a little bit of protein so that we can get her hair strong again and I added a styling cream to her hair and I'm just finger coiling her hair just to encourage her curl pattern since we just just cut off a lot of dead ends I want to retrain her curls As you can see as I'm wetting her hair and detangling it I'm finding more ends that are just straight and dead so I'm getting rid of all of those ends you can see where her curls are when her hair is wet and where those straight pieces are and to really make sure that we're keeping her hair healthy I'm gonna make sure that we're deep conditioning her hair regularly and we're gonna make sure that we continue to cut off any dead ends that we see along the way I chose to use the Carol's Daughter Styling Cream because I went with a water-based leave-in. When you have low porosity hair, you don't want to pile on too many heavy products on your hair because it's just going to sit on top of your hair, never really penetrating your hair's follicle. So you want to be careful about what moisturizers you are using because if they're too heavy and you have low porosity hair, it's just going to sit on top of your hair. It's not really going to benefit you. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm testing out this product. We'll see how it works and I'm going to do a protective style in her hair. I feel like at this point we have to be kind of picky which protective style we're doing because we don't want to do anything that's too tight that can cause breakage. We don't want to do anything that's going to be in her hair for too long because we do want to keep it moisturized. So with protective styling it is good to do but you do have to be careful and kind of stay on top of your hair and make sure that you are keeping it moisturized. And this is her hair once it's all done, it's all cut, it's re-moisturized. We did cut off a lot of her hair. Her hair is very coily so it looks shorter than what it is but we did get a good amount off thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one bye bye